If you were one of the many people who suffered a financial setback due to the pandemic and you were in forbearance on your home loan in 2020 or 2021, you may be wondering how that will impact you on purchasing a home in today's market. The good news is there is a path to home ownership and to refinancing. Here's what you need to know. If you are going to be using a conventional loan, Conventional loans are gonna require that you pay back all of the payments and the fees that were due on the loan. That brings you current. Now, if you are gonna sell your home, then selling the home will bring that loan current. And if you entered into some type of deferred payment agreement or loan modification agreement, then conventional loans are gonna require that you've been in that agreement and paid three consecutive payments on it before you are eligible to use a conventional home loan to purchase or refinance in the future. Now, this is just addressing the actual position for the home loan. But keep in mind, so many people that were impacted by the pandemic may have been late on their credit cards, which means that the credit score may have suffered or student loans were deferred. And now student loans may start to come due here in the subsequent months and years. All of these things are factored into your eligibility for either a refinance or a purchase in the future. So if life did happen to you and maybe you were 30 days late on a credit card, just know that the further you get away from that late payment, the better your score will have a chance of improving. So for example, if you had a 30 day late payment last month and a lender pulls your credit for either a refinance or a home loan purchase pre-qualification this month, then your score is probably going to be pretty impacted because that 30 day late payment was so close to the point in time that the lender's pulling the credit. But for example, if that late payment was 12 months ago or 24 months ago, it is gonna have less of an impact on your credit score today. So if life happens to you, don't worry, you can get back on track and be in a position to either purchase a house in the future or refinance if that's what your goals lead you to. So now you know what the lender will be looking for if you are hoping to buy a house after forbearance or refinance. Guidelines are updated all the time, so be sure to work with a trusted loan advisor to get the most up-to-date information. If you found value in today's video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.